Hey y'all, it's Jeff Roski here at the New Janky Workshop. Um, sorry for the background noise, my neighbors are blowing out their sprinklers. Um, anyways, I have this for like five foot piece of three by four? Two by four, like an actual two by four. And it is old and moldy and gorgeous. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make another lamp out of it. So, let's do that. I was supposed to stop, wasn't I? Take a look through some of my lamp bits here. Way. These sconces. Eh. That's gonna be way too big for that puppy. And that just doesn't look right. Let's see what else we got. No. Let's look up, shall we? See what we have here. We have a... Jeff, Jeff, this is Jeff from the future. Don't do it, you don't know what you're doing. Don't do it. Carpenter Division. But I guess you've already done it anyway, so I love to show what you did wrong. Electronic Technologies, Inc. Charlottesville, Virginia. Model F5-100. Serial number's been filed off. <gasps> Let's see how this thing looks. I don't even know if it fires up and it's just got one single cord coming out, so we're gonna figure that out. But, ooh. That has a nice fitment. That kind of fits on there, nice. It's got tabs here to accept screws. I also probably want something there. And the question is, does it face up or down? I think it's gonna face down. And I think I'll do another steel plate bottom like I did with that other lamp. So, let's get to playing with the wires, see what happens. All right, just trim this off of an extension cord. I'm gonna create a lead on this thing so I can see this thing works. What I'm gonna do is keep this as my actual lead thing here. I'm gonna go up in there. A good touchy touchy on there. I'm gonna wrap those in electrical tape. So now I have my two leads. I'm gonna turn the power off here. So this is not hot at the moment. But I'm gonna find out if this thing does anything. All right, power on. Oh. oh, didn't like that. That's that's smoke. Flame Q, whatever that is. <laughs> it arced and welded it onto here. That is stuck. Well, now it's not. That's where our sparse came from. It arced between the two. So that's not the way to hook this up. Figure out plan B. Oh, since there's a little problem there, I'm gonna pull this puppy apart and have a look inside. Hi there. Hi. 
It's Jeff for the future. Thanks for joining me. Well, present. That was the past. You get what I mean. Time travel's not possible. Unless you're doing video editing. Anyways, um, we posted this video up on Patreon. Looks really cool, doesn't it? Doesn't work. Um, as you saw, uh, we posted this video up on Patreon, and our Patreon members suggested that they actually want to see this video and more videos like it, where we get into something, don't know what we're doing, screw it up, and end up here, like we are. And I tried this not once, but twice. I found this one at the yard sale, this one off of eBay. And the guy on eBay had no idea what it was either, if it worked, whatever. So, here we are. Oh, it actually says 55 volt. Wagner 55 volt. Uh, anyways, this is a Carpenter Division F5 100 light. Goes to some sort of vehicle and apparently runs off 55 volts. Have no idea how much amperage it needs. Doesn't say anything about it anywhere on the light. If you know what this is, please let me know. And maybe I can find this light and try it again to actually make this lamp. Um, it, it looks cool, but it ended up not working out. Um, so, hey, if you want to see more videos like this, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Join us on Patreon for as little as a buck. It all helps. But you help direct the content that we actually create and show you guys. So, that's all I got. I'm going to put this back on the shelf for now. And now you can go back to the present. Do the Wayne's World thing. Cut to the Wayne's World peak.